we have nikhil here as you can see so he got a 675 which is the 96 percentile all in all just let us uh, know your experience 675 it's showing 96 percentile right now sure, sir. so sir uh, my i gave the gmat focus edition more uh, official exam like one or two weeks back and i got mm -hmm. 675 that is 96 percentile and right. it took me around 1.75 or two months to prepare for the exam and mm -hmm. I only followed uh, top coaching material for the entire, uh, for all the study material and the test series, mock test and all. And right. in the end, I gave the official GMAT mock exams, which are there in the uh, NBA.com. And then I was good to go for the exam. And then I uh, wrote the official exam. And I also gave the top official, top mocks also, sectional test and full length test also, both. Right, right. So, Nikhil, yes, what was your preparation like? What were your weak areas? How did you start? And uh, uh, did you mm -hmm. take this time frame for your preparation? Did you think you'll do mm -hmm. it longer, for, I mean, in a longer duration, shorter duration? And were you clear about the focus edition right from the beginning? Tell everything, mm -hmm. whatever your story is, please. Sure, sir. So, whether I was clear about the why I chose to write about the focus edition. So, because the early edition was about to get... Uh, yeah, it was. It is going to expire, so right. So that's why I had around three or four months, and so I thought about giving the focus edition, and this is the primary reason. And coming from an engineering background, so I was pretty good with quant, and so quant took me a lesser amount of time. I would say the least amount of time to prepare, whereas RC that is verbal, verbal took me. A good plethora of time to complete the syllabus and then practice and become uh, well versed in it. And DI also took me somewhat intermediate time because DI mainly comprises of quant and CR. So whenever one has a good grip on the verbal part and both mm -hmm. and also the quant part, so DI is not that difficult and won't take that much time because right. it is somewhat application of both. You joined so, towards the end of September, I, I think. So somewhere I yes, sir. towards the end of September or October first week types. Yeah, I joined around that time. So it took about close to two months, a little less yes, than that. Close to two months, one point seven five to two months. I used to see a lot of emails from you in the beginning about verbal. I think I I remember yes, seeing. Yes, sir. So, yeah. so, so tell me about RC. How did you improve? Because I think RC and CR were your major challenges. So tell. Me. Yes, sir. So RC and CR were my major challenges and. Like I had said, quant and DI were not that difficult for me. So preparing for RC, I first, I followed only the top uh, study material and top test and all. For preparing RC in the verbal, so I used the, first I, uh, I had gone through all the basic videos and the pre-work and post-work study material. And then I got well versed with the octave, like I had practiced octave in depth and it got uh, acquainted, I got acquainted to it and it got, into my subconscious mind along with time with practice. And so uh, using R uh, using Octave and other techniques for RC for inference questions, primary passage questions, if true and other miscellaneous questions and all. So I followed the entire strategy, which was uh, suggested by you in the lectures and the course right. material. So with time and with, uh, with practice, consistent practice, so I used to solve two or three passages on a daily basis, whether it be in office or if I'm at home, I used to solve somewhat more passages. So with time, I got acquainted to the process, to the procedure, to solving RC questions. And then my accuracy also started improving. Then I put the timer on. And so then using the timer, my speed also got improved. Uh, mm -hmm. And my accuracy was also improving day by day. Uh, so this was, this was the entire scenario for RC. And talking about CR, so yes, I, for CR also, I followed the entire study material for all types of questions, be it weak and assumption strength and paradox and all, evaluate and all. So the strategies for each type of question, the method, the methodology and the approach to solve each type of questions, I followed uh, strictly that approach. And then initially my CR was a bit weak because uh, as compared to RC, because RC, you can understand the RC or you can directly use a uh, directly go to the location or use the octave mm -hmm. but in CR there are a different variety of questions so it right. took me a bit more time to practice the CR questions and get better at each type and right. so 
yes and so with time i got i used to practice uh, cr questions like 20, 10 or 20 cr questions at a stretch mm-hmm. on, on each day of a mixed bag variety with right. a timer so then my accuracy started improving it and i was able to apply all the techniques at a instantaneously without thinking much like how how should I approach or where to identify the conclusion? It got uh, into my subconscious mind, and with practice, I was able to get better at it. Right, right, super. I'll ask you more about DI because that is one area that uh, you said also took you some time because it is obviously a combination of math and CR. Yes. So, what was the approach you took? Did you just attend the basic sessions? Did you do a lot mm-hmm. of practice from the portal? Just take us through the DI part, please. Yes, yes sure. So for practicing DI, so DI I did after I had completed my quant and I had completed my verbal. So after completing both, I approached the DI section. And for uh, completing the DI section, I took the uh, I took all the sectional tests which are in the top portal, mock, uh, mm-hmm. top mock test portal, and the topic wise test also for those topics which I thought I should practice more or I was a bit weak at or which took me more time to solve. Mm-hmm. So this is the approach which I followed for DI, mainly practicing different type of questions, practicing more and more and identifying the errors or the questions which were taking time and how to uh, solve them in a quick way or how to uh, just go through them easily. Right, right. So but uh, you did not do all the easy. all the mocks and all the sectionals of DI, right? That means no, you did some selective study there. You... I had completed all the sectional tests, like sectional tests for DI and some of the topic wise tests for DI. Right, right. Okay. So, topic wise, you did not do all of them. That is what you said. Yes, okay. not all. Only some which where I thought I was lagging a bit. How about data sufficiency? Did you have any challenges in the beginning or were you making some silly mistakes or falling for traps or was it straightforward for you? So, data sufficiency is a mix of, say, uh, data sufficiency is more of uh, Quan. So if, if one has a good grip over quan, then uh, identifying the what the question is asking for you from you and the two options, like the two statements, how can they provide support mm-hmm. to answering that question is uh, is what matters in the end. And data sufficiency, I didn't practice that much because I was good at it. And also during the sectional test and the full end test, I was going good in data sufficiency questions right. in the right. DME. And uh, Nikhil, what were your mock scores like and when did you think you were ready for the thing? Because you took focus edition mocks also. So just mm-hmm. wanted to know. Yes. So after, say, after one month and one week, say, like three weeks before my official GMAT exam, I had booked my date. So because one has to set a deadline to it, otherwise the process right. keeps on extending because you are never perfect for the giving the GMAT exam. So I booked right. the date and then, uh, like I had three weeks uh, for giving the exam. So then I started giving the sectional test and the last two weeks or say last 10 days, I gave only the full length test, mm-hmm. the seven or eight, the full length test that uh, right. provides and, and the so, four uh, GMAT focus edition tests that are available on the uh, right, MBA.com. Right. So and uh, were, you, were you scoring around the same mm-hmm. uh, were you scoring more? Were you scoring less? So please tell mm-hmm. me that also. So, while giving the top exams, top mock exams, full length exams, I was scoring a bit lesser. Like I was scoring around 625, 6, uh, 575, 600, 625 times, 625 types because mm-hmm. uh, as I was giving more and more number of sectional tests and more number of uh, full length tests, the difficulty of the test was also increasing. Yeah, so, yeah we made thought, them like that. Yes, mm-hmm. yes, yeah. Yes, so I was not and able the, to. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Book yes, in the is. GMAT official mocks, what were your scores like? Yes, sorry sir. for so interrupting. Yeah. Sorry, sir. So in the GMAT official mock exams, which I had given from the MBA.com, I was getting a score of, say, 695, 675 types. I was getting up to that. Okay, so there. something very similar to that you got yes, on the exam. Yes, right? similar to. Also, describe your exam experience. Did you write the exam at the center or uh, at home, number one? Yeah. Which order did you take? And uh, were there any external factors like anxiety or nervousness? And the last thing, did you find anything unusual on the exam day? Yeah, please, all of these one by one. Yes. Mm-hmm. So I gave the exam at the test center. 
official test center and the pattern which i followed right from the start was mm-hmm. first quant then verbal then 10 minutes break then dia okay so all the full length test of top and gmat focus edition mock exams i have followed this pattern only because i was pretty much sure that in the official exam also i'll be following this pattern so okay i got recommended to this entire process right from the start there was no deviation mm-hmm. in the in this process like the order of the break right. also didn't order. vary okay. and any any external factors anything anxiety etc there, no, at- <laughs> there was no external factor like there was no issue at the exam center or any online issue or nothing sort of that and to cope up with the anxiety nervousness or panic so i had so i knew that this could be a factor so that's why i was giving the official test sectional test and all for the last two weeks or three weeks this was the reason to get myself acquainted to the process to hold down my nerves to calm myself on the right. exam day to simulate the and exactly the situation which should be happening over there on a day to day basis also did you find yes. any question unusual in any section anything that you felt was like you were not prepared for or whatever just tell us mm-hmm. so quant and verbal were almost not almost completely on the similar lines which mm-hmm. we have been uh, taught about which i had prepared about just in the case of di di was a bit lengthier i would say or i felt during the exam and mm-hmm. there were more questions related to the mean median and range standard mm-hmm. deviation was not there and okay. so the questions also were not directly straight forward like they required for answering them correctly they required to calculate different possible cases and situations mm-hmm. which could have happened using right. and this existed both in ds data sufficiency and integrated reasoning so it took so, more time basically that is what yes, it took more time to solve could you finish the di section or could you not finish properly like say so i couldn't finish the complete so i had attempted all the questions in the di but yes i couldn't finish them properly and that's the main point like where my score dipped uh, in the official exam so during the mocks and sectional test and official mock exams also i was getting around maximum two or three questions wrong in the di and in the official exam which i gave i got around i got nine questions wrong in the di and that was due to the last 15 minutes which i crumbled or i couldn't perform due to some of the questions taking a large amount of time okay and so all of you yeah, all of you here well, there is a there is a lesson for all of us this has been iterated by three people already that data insights so whichever section you are doing at the end there is i mean one person said verbal as well aditya so just take care of this aspect that the last minute practice that you do maybe you do 5 minutes earlier let's say 45 minutes you try to finish everything in 40 minutes so that that panic button is not set in and um, this uh, so okay anything apart from that okay length of the questions according to you and the time required was a little unusual or more mm-hmm. than whatever your practice anything else that you realized in the entire thing quant verbal di you said quant verbal was fine in the di part anything else that you realized please tell there was not much deviation from the sectional test and all sectional test and full length test and official mock exams there was not much deviation but yes the just one thing that statistics question mean median range questions were more in number and required vast calcul not to calculation but considering vast possibilities for vast situations which could have happened over there yeah all possibilities as we say in yes. data sufficiency also sometimes that can be a big challenge because you mm-hmm. have to really look at all yes. the possible okay what is okay. the piece of advice you will say for people who are yet to write the exams please anything that you would like to share yes sir so uh, there are few pointers which i would like to suggest for the coming students who would be taking the focus edition so one is that you should be you should get yourself acquainted to the official to the exam, to the d day that is the end day on which you will be giving the exam so for this the you should be practicing the top mock test full length test especially and the official gmat uh, official gmat exams because yes the top mock test give uh, help you get acquainted to various 
possibilities like someday you could be solving questions with with an ease but on the other day you are having like you are not able to just finish of the section or some questions are uh, popping up which are very difficult or you might not have practiced that much so the top mock test uh, gets gets you acquainted with all the different possible situations which could have which could ultimately happen on the exam day so right. despite of the test being a bit difficult on being on the difficult side as compared to the official exam it is uh, must must do test to get yourself uh, so that on the exam day you don't get panic or anxiety mm -hmm. or you are on a balanced level and yes right. before the exam three or four days before the exam you should be doing the official exams because that's what you will be giving on the d day so right. this is the strategy which i have followed and i would advise the same and uh, completing the entire study material like see, like most of the study material from top and uh, video sessions and pre work coursework is more than sufficient and if you are also able to maintain your error log and recognize the pattern and the weak areas then you can focus more on those weak areas so this is a continuous process and so by following this continuous process the test taking and getting yourself and keeping your mind calm getting yourself habitual to the process so this is more than sufficient and one would one following this strategy can do great in the exam all right and one last thing how many hours could you study every day because you said you were working as well clearly full time mm -hmm. so how many hours yes. were you able to devote to studying so in terms of so i didn't map my study in terms of hours like i have to study these many hours a day because I had clearly defined the targets like on this day or this week, I have to complete this much topic and this, this these many questions I have to complete on a daily basis of CRRC, DI, Quant, and on this day I have to give this test. And also I planned in this way, but uh, giving it an average. So I had I was studying for about, say, four to five hours. Mm -hmm. Yes. And two average, months yes. roughly, right? Roughly two months. Just a little less than two months, probably. Yes. Okay. Right. 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 Okay, Nikhil. Thanks, and we'll have a discussion, and then we'll take this forward whether you need to reappear or not. All right. Sure. Thanks. Thank you for joining in and very valuable insights because I do believe that people have to listen to this, that the managing last 15 minutes of your exam is really, mm -hmm. really important. We've heard it from two or three people today itself. Um, so something that I would urge them to really consider very strongly that really have yes, to manage yes. it till the last minute, till the last distance. Yes. All right, Nikhil. Thank you for joining in then. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.